Okay, lastly, we're just going to take a quick look at what happens with arguments that have inconsistent premises. Here's something that might come as a bit of a surprise. The following argument is actually valid. A is a dodecahedron and A is not a dodecahedron, therefore C is large. How do we go from here down to here? It has to do with the definition of validity or logical consequence that we've been discussing earlier. And so, if you like, I'd invite you to pause the video and think about how it is that this sentence, which is impossible, can entail this sentence, which is at least possible. One way to see why this is, is to put it into a truth table. I'm just going to write D here for our sentence, and it comes out as D and not D. We already know that for a conjunction to come out true, both conjuncts have to come out true. And so this is false in both instances. But then remember that by our definition of logical validity, going from false to true is okay. And since this has to be false, it can never be that the premise is true and the conclusion is false. So suppose that C is not large, well then we're just going from false to false. But by the definition of logical consequence, that's also okay. The only thing that's not okay is to go from true to false. And it's impossible to go from true to false when the sentence we're starting out with, our premise itself, is inconsistent and therefore has to be false. If you think this is weird, you're not alone. I mentioned in the optional video about logical connectives and the history of different notation systems that I work on mostly medieval logic, and there's plenty of evidence in the texts that I've looked at that students balked at this, and there are definitely passages which are condensed from lectures in which instructors say something like, now this strikes a lot of people as quite odd at first blush. But the way to think about this is just to bear in mind that as long as we're not going from T to F, the argument is valid, and since it's guaranteed to be F, then we're A-OK. -okay. And that's what happens with arguments with inconsistent premises. We can prove anything we like from them. Doesn't mean it's going to be true, but the argument itself will be valid. And with that, we've wrapped up week six. So, um, let me know if you have any questions. I'll wait to hear from you. And otherwise, good luck.